and hello hello again and my name is again my name is Helmut Meshkowitz and welcome to another tutorial of or walkthrough demonstration video of hostmaria.com and today there will be a big one so it unites few other things and if you get lost in some steps please look other tutorials we have done uh, like how to connect uh, how to create a FTP connection how to export website and few other good stuff so and today I'll be showing you how to import WordPress WordPress uh, website into the Stack CP dashboard. So WordPress websites uh, contain of two things. Into let us say two, two huge blocks: database, and another one is files. So we'll be importing files. We'll be importing after that. We'll import database, and the next step, then the last step, we will connect. We'll make sure that we will we will do the configurations necessary in WP uh, WP config that the files connect to the database that's it and let us go through everything i'm sharing the whole i'm sharing my whole screen so please put it on your on your full screen and let us get started i will start uh, usually people start uh, with when importing the websites usually they start with databases in this case i want to get rid of of this folder of the of the filezilla so i will start with the basic things i want to make the screen larger for you and therefore i'll start with importing the files so in previous in previous uh in previous uh pop to demonstration i do apologize it is quite late up here we did export the wordpress database and we did uh, we did export wordpress files these are compressed and these uh, this this is this is this is an archive of un uncompressed files and everything has been deleted. So if we go here to our Stack CP dashboard, we can see that in public HTML, in public, public HTML is empty and all the contents have been deleted. Also, also, if we go to MySQL databases, there are not MySQL databases, there is nothing. So the account is empty, empty. So first things first. So we have, so we have our files. So we, this one and, and this one and this one. So open your FileZilla, connect. And now there are two ways. Now there are two ways. Now there are two ways. One way is, okay, 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 that's, that's the, no such, here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, very good. Public HTML is empty. So now there are two ways. One way is to upload this the compressed files. So this public, so these compressed files via FileZilla or via File Manager. So it is it is all up to you. I do prefer I put I do prefer to upload the files via FileZilla. It is just the process is is faster if they are compressed. So let me drop them in, and we can see the files are uploaded and the zip has been uploaded. Good. Now we open once again. We are into File Manager. We are into File Manager. We need to uncompress these files. Let's go here. Public HTML. Uncompress this archive. I do apologize. Really, really long day. <laughs> Extract files. Now, now the Stack CP dashboard is extracting. The file manager is extracting the archive. And you can see as up here, we had archive public in public HTML. So as well, we can see, we can see that the files are, that the files are, so we, the, 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 the long route is public html public html so public html is mentioned twice so what we want to do we want to move these files we want to move these files into the main public html so here and the best thing i would say i would say and again and again in this case go to go to pub public html let us disconnect let us open it quickly once again Okay, okay, okay. 
here we go so and now what we do we just select all files and drag them one level up up here and delete this one and delete the archive here we go refresh here we go and we have uploaded all the files so the first thing is done now let me stop sharing the screen and i will share a file manager tab like this this should be easier now hopefully yes now so first things that first thing first things first first things are done now second part now we now we need to import database but as we haven't got the database so we are going to mysql databases and we would say db 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 imp db db, db import let us say let us call it db import create database so and what happens now so this this is a server on on most hosts like most shared closed hosting platforms they would have local host you do not have local host your host name is this one save it please for yourself you will you will need all these records the next thing database username database username uh, so database name and username is the same same you need to save it and password also save your password and i'm okay with with displaying all these details publicly as this website of course will be deleted so there is no there is the, no problems with that so let us uh let us continue with the database so now we need so now as we have created a database so we have a database and again you do not need to add user you do not need to give permissions and all that all that other good stuff that many other hosting platforms will ask you you you've you've done your your, your part with uh with the database so next thing go to php my admin login php my admin is opening here you can see here is your database click on it make sure that your database is up here make sure and you see that nothing it is totally empty import choose file so up here we would go downloads 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 here we go and here's the database previously exported we would go here and let me let me remove the panel and zoom in so you chose file leave everything as default and click go here on the bottom go and now see import has been successfully finished so the website uh, so so the database has been imported and you can close it down super good so you've done second part so two parts are done first part was importing uh so so put, putting your files your old files on the server then creating and importing the database and now you need to connect these two things <coughs> so as as we can see as we can see we would go to un s an error establishing database connection it means that the files cannot cannot create a connection with the database so what we need to do now go to file manager and now it is very very simple public html now find the file that is wp config up here sometimes you might have two configs <coughs> my apologies <laughs> oh sorry sometimes you might have two configs <laughs> make sure that the one is the short one click on code editor so up here database name now we have the old database name do you remember where to get them so database name was so now we are replacing db import 
and this one. So, that's the password. We did write down the password. The password is this one. And host name. So many, many of you, when you will be importing your websites, you will have local host here. Many, many of you. Ignore, ignore it. And that, and replace it with this one. Yes. And now you're saving. Let's see once again. Let us do the refresh. Refreshing. Here we go. <laughs> and the and the website has been and the website has been imported. Once again, seven clothes. And where did where where did I find these details? So remember, MySQL databases, this is not localhost, this is your host name. And if when you will have many websites, you will have several host names. And under one host name, you can have two, three databases. You'll see all that, all that good stuff. So database and username, it is the same. You do not have to create additional user. You do not have to give them rights. Everything is done already for you. And this is how simple you can import a previously exported WordPress website. I really, really hope that this tutorial will help you. And you see, it shouldn't take more than 10, 15 minutes. And you are done. And of course, if you have if you have technical issues, if you stumble upon something and can't understand something, please open a support ticket. We are more than happy to help you out. Please remember that live chat is for pre-sales and level one support people, they do not have access to the to all the users and all the all the, all, the, all the servers. So only level two, level three support people will have it. And level two and level three support people um, work through uh, work through ticketing system. That's it. Thank you. And yes, we do not provide migrations. We do not provide migrations. Though, just open a ticket. Just say, hey, I'm stuck here. Share your sc screenshot, and we'll help you. We'll help you either with advice or maybe we'll do it just for you. Okay, bye-bye. And it was that simple. Bye-bye.